Thanks everyone for uh, joining us today. Again, my name is Greg Williams. We're going to go into a NAV app demo on my Android phone. So what I've done is I've installed the NAV app on my Android phone and I've connected it to my Cronus demo database. And I have a software here that allows me to mirror my Android phone on the screen. So I'm going to pick up my Android phone in my hands and whatever you see me doing on the phone is also going to be shown on the screen here. So I'm going to pull up the phone here. So now you can see the phone. I'm not touching the keyboard and mouse anymore. I'm now using my Android phone within my hands and I'm scrolling up and down with my thumb here. So you can see here, and just to show you consistency of look and feel, we'll look at the home page here for our web client. And then on the phone app, we'll have a very similar look. But because of screen real estate on a phone, we can't fit it all on one screen. If I want to see the key performance indicators graph, I have to touch the key performance indicators at the top here. Or if I click on this star, it shows my favorite customers. So on the web client that's going to be down here, on my phone app, it's up in the phone here under favorites. The trial balance is a report that I like to look at maybe is right here as well. And then I have my report inbox, which works across all platforms. So if you have key reports that you want to run and schedule, then you can run those reports and schedule them, and people can pick them up on any device. Um, that's an incredibly useful thing for an executive that likes to use his iPad or something like that. The report's going to be scheduled to run and sent automatically to his favorite device. I'm going to drill down into a list here, and you'll see I have sales invoices that I'm working on. I can pull up that invoice and view it. I can go down to the lines itself. I can drill down the lines as a list here. And then there's context sensitive menus throughout the application for viewing the customer. So think about everything within your fact box at NAV that would be on the right are just going to be in a menu underneath. So I can view my customer, view my dimensions. I can post it from here, send it, change the ship to. So all your order entry here can be done on a phone device. So those of you that might sell at a trade show or go out and visit customers and want to give them a quote, know that you can do that right from within your phone here. So now I'm going to back out back to my home screen here. Notice I have my navigation pane available. So just like we have on the web app, customers, vendors, items, posted invoices, I have the same on my phone app. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use one of the other new features in NAV 2016 is document management. And a document can be a picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of an invoice that I have from one of my vendors, and I'm going to create a purchase invoice in NAV from that picture. So you'll see here I have create incoming doc from camera. This is one of the major advantages of using an app as opposed to just a web browser is that you can use the camera. So I'm going to create an incoming doc here. Okay. So now I'm going to take a picture of an invoice here. It's an invoice from the Canon group. So now I have that picture. It looks legible to me, so I'm going to click OK instead of retrying. And it's now going to upload that picture into NAV. It uploaded that picture into an incoming document here. And now I have a new document. And I can take this document and create it as a transaction in NAV. I can create it as a journal entry, as a document, or choose what I want to create. So I'm going to create right from here a purchase invoice. Notice my different options here. I could create a sales invoice, a journal entry, could even do a sales quote or sales order. There's lots of different options here. We can also handle things automatically in some cases. You could also use some of the OCR capabilities in NAM to read the text off that document and set it up for you automatically. So we're going to create a purchase invoice, and now we're going to select our vendor. Again, this could be read using OCR, where we're going to select Oakville World here. And then I have to remember to put in my mandatory field. As we know from NAV 2015 and later, it has mandatory fields. This is another thing that works across all interfaces. So if I make a field mandatory in the RTC, it's also going to be mandatory on my phone. And now I'm going to add a line for GL account. And we'll search for office supplies, 
I don't have to know the number anymore, or I don't even have to know which column I'm searching for. I just know I'm doing office supplies. And then I can do a quantity, and let's say that this was $73.98. So now that line is completed, and I can send this through an approval process in NAF. So I could post, release, copy documents, send for approval, whatever options I want to do here. Because of my permissions, I'm going to go ahead and release it. That is now uploaded into NAV along with the picture of the document and everything else. So what I'm going to do next, we'll go into the RTC, for example, of this database. And we can look at our purchase invoices. And here is the $73.98 invoice that we just updated with my phone. And then I can also view on the image here and see the picture that I took with my phone. 